Hi everyone and welcome to Altea Active at Home. My name is Mia and today I'm gonna be doing HIT with you. So what do you need beside your body weight? Two set of dumbbells or water bottles or whatever you have that is handy. Uh, if that is also oh, too much to grab, it's absolutely fine. I'm sure you're gonna have enough variations and options to still have a 30 minutes of great workout and good sweat. We will start with the warm up. So let's grab the music up and start with the shoulders. There we go. Nice and easy. Switch inside. That's good. Just keep on moving. Four, three, two. Now give me side to side rotation. Push that shoulder slightly to the back. There we go. And now open hand to the sides. Feel stretch across your chest. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Let's get a little bouncy here. You can shift the body weight from foot to foot. Brace your core. And when you're ready, open up and then change other side. So hip to the left. There we go. Four more. In this position, like we've done last time, I'm gonna change and turn in and out. Like this, there we go. Two more. Last one. Give bounce. There we go. Nice and easy. Four, three, two, one. Give it a little run and heels up to your bum. Go. Wake up those hamstrings. Four, three, two, and curl. That's good. How about knees to the front? Pull. Yes. Keep going. Four, three, two. Reach side to side. That's good. Loosen up. And reach up. Today's gonna be fast. 30 seconds with a 15 or 10 seconds rest in between. Give me both hands up. That's good. Now for those shoulders, open up. That's good. You got a team. One of the most important things is to properly warm up. So stay with me. Four, three, two, Knees together, roll. Keep them always in one side first. And then change. That's good. March it out, perfect. Okay, when the body is slightly prepared and ready, let's start with our first workout. It's gonna be the taps, and you can keep those both feet close to your heel. So side to side, chest up, easy, keep going. I start my watch, that's good. For those who want a little more, lift the foot and go into the skater. Anytime you need breaks, take them, take a sip of water and return whenever you're ready. Keep going. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. Arch it out. We're gonna grab a set of dumbbells. And the combo will be like this. Curl, twist with the press. Then you change side. Nice and easy. Keep elbows close to your rib cage. As you curl, curl up to the shoulders and back. Here we go. Turn the body 45 to each side, eyes gaze, straight and following that rotation. That's a good team. Keep going. Beautiful. You're all pros. I know we're gonna have so much fun today. Keep going. Brace the core, straight arm to the ceiling and back. 
and controlled. Give me two more. Last one. That's good. And time. Leave these. We're gonna use them a little later. Your next exercise is gonna be pulse squats and then you're gonna have a stabilizers included where you're gonna just work on your glutes a little more. It goes like this. So you're gonna go four, three, two, stay low and tap four times. And again, four, three, two, tap it down. For those who have a little trouble with going that low, plain and simple, stay up to level you can and stretch the arms. Keep chest upright and breathe. That's good. Yeah, we're straight we're going into fire. We're gonna bring those quads, glutes, and a higher temperature level for sure. Keep going. Oh, I know you can go lower. Come on, team. Woo, burn. Four, three, two, last one. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Shake it off. Give your besties high five over there. I'm sure you're doing great, people. Okay, here, we're gonna bring the scissors. And when you're ready, turn them into pile of lunges. So your lower option is scissors, lean body weight to the front, pile of lunges, higher option. So as you're going on the side, stay on your toes, lean slightly to the front, knees 90 degrees, if you're in pile of lunges. Keep going, there we go. And the lowest, if you need, you can just head back. That's good, four, three, two, one, Time, march it out. Woza. I already start sweating. How about you? Grab super water and let's do this more. In this case, we're gonna bring those skaters four times and then jacks. There we go. Four, four. Right. And four back. Up. There we go. Your lower option. You got that slightly, a little less motion in it, and no jump. You got it, team. Keep going. Woo -hoo. That's it. Nice and easy. 10 more seconds. Breathe through it. Last one. There we go. March it out. Don't shut the engines just like that. Okay, next round, we're gonna move on the floor. Here, we will start with our Russian twist, followed by heel taps. So toes down, heels lifted. We have a nice rhythm. Follow it, chest up. Don't crunch too much. Get those shoulders slightly back. Lean back. And twist, go. Here we go. Boom. If you haven't started sweating yet, oh my goodness, you're great. But let's do that. Let's sweat it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Slowly lay it back. Stretch here and check this out. This is your next round. You have 10 seconds to rest. So you're gonna lift the shoulders off the floor. You're gonna look in between thighs. You're gonna keep those heels slightly closer to your bum cheeks. Brace your belly, keep everything glued to the floor and side tap heel. So you feel your lower back on the floor as you're moving right and left. Now, if you want more, you get into the rhythm Still tucking that chin in closer to your chest. Your lower back are still on the floor and your shoulders are lifted. And you go. Keep going. Woo hoo. Beautiful. Have five more seconds. Three, two, 
one time. Beautiful. Okay, for the next round, we're gonna pretend we are on the beach. I think that will not be that hard to do so. 90 degrees for your elbows. Nice, feet a little uh, wider as well as further away from your glutes. We're gonna do uh, exercise for our triceps. So you're gonna push yourself up, return back. Those elbows, touch the floor, chest up, and you're lifting, there we go. Beautiful. So press everything into your heels, as well as into your palms, as you're coming up. You feel the triceps, but you also feel the core. You need those in a teamwork to be able to lift. Keep going. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one time. Okay, grab one knee, sit down, have a sip or two if you need for a small break. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare you for our planking because the next round we're gonna do two options and two rounds. One will be full plank position. Even in this one, palms open, shoulder in line, shoulders away from your ears, reset, squeeze glutes, squeeze core, squeeze your thighs. This is your option, we're gonna start in. If you need a lower version, just drop your knees down, okay? If you want to challenge yourself just a bit, you lift those knees, but make sure the glutes and the hips are always slightly lower than your shoulders, but not too low. If you're ready, steady, go. Okay, so 30 seconds of these, and after that we're gonna move into hover position, and we're gonna use that in the active version. There we go. The best foundation you will get in any exercise is plank, because it builds the whole body, especially your core. Without strength in our core, I don't think we can do anything. So stay with me. I know you can do it, people. Keep going. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees down. Elbows also down. Place yourself in a hover position. Elbow and shoulder in line. 90 degrees. Eyes gaze on your uh, manicure, pedicure, whatever you want to watch. You can stay on your knees or you can also stretch and stay in full hover position. And we go. I find this one slightly more difficult because it really requires full core stability so you don't drop your hips or your knees a little lower. Imagine, I'm gonna come and tickle you and you wanna squeeze all that so you prevent any possible uh, dropping or getting out of the alignment. You got it team. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one time, he's down, child pose. Woo, great work, great start for sure. That's my team. Okay, slowly coming up. Grab super two, as I said, and always, always listen your body. You're the boss. I'm leading the way, but you pick your shots and options. Bend the knees, pick up your weights. Okay, here, shoulders down and back. Soft your knees, hip apart. Get me those curls. Nice and easy, that's good. Brace your belly, chest up, stay proud. And keep smile on that beautiful face. Everything gets easier. There we go. Nice, this is gonna be for 30 seconds, it's gonna pass by quick. There we go. After that, we're gonna go in some speed drill. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Leave these. Okay, I want you to focus now. We have lots of negative energy, right? And we want to throw it away. Now, focus and bring me those box. You're gonna get just moving 
side to side, stepping and shifting body weight from one foot to another, and upper body, get those punches. Focus on one spot, and you'll get that. Woo! Throw from the core. So squeeze the belly, and then get those arms to work for you. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's go, let's go. Boom. 20, 20, here we go. And we kick your bum. We're stronger than anything. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, time. We worked a little bit of hands. We're gonna forget about hands. We're gonna work legs. I want you to do as fast as you can. We're gonna do fast feet for those who want more out and in. Let's work on that agility. Speed and agility. Two and one. Okay, team, almost halfway, so two against you, always. Keep going. One of my favorites that I always keep in my hit class is these. Keep going, keep going. Woo Five, four, three, two, one. Time, shake it off. Give some stretch. Grab some water, people. Speaking of, I should maybe grab some as well. There we go. Always stay hydrated. Now, after we've done fast hands, fast feet, let's see how we can go up and down. So I want you to go you know, jumps with a squat, but here, you really focus how high you wanna go. If the jump is really a trouble, or any issue, squeeze and get into those toes, get the heel off the floor. Go. Yes. Soft the knees as you're coming back. As you land, always be mindful of that. Yes. Keep going. Keep moving. Woohoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Time. March it out. Okay, one more in standing. Then we're moving back on the floor. Who is breathless? Right, you can feel it? I know. It's getting there. Okay. Right leg or left leg, whatever you start first. We're gonna hold into lunge position. You wanna go faster you can here or kneel it. For those who want more, you'll get that. Quick, again, agility. In and out. Level one, level two. Level three. Woohoo! Three, two, one. Shake it off. Other leg. Yep. We have other side too. Keep moving. Ten seconds. Shake it off. Back heel off the floor. Back knee drops. Squeeze, squeeze. Chest up. You're coming out. Level one, always start with the lowest. Plenty of time to grow. And then, when you're ready, you shoot. Oh yeah. Keep walking. Woo -hoo. Work, work, work. Five, four, three, two, push it out. There we go. Give me a thumbs up. I know you're good. Okay, team. Slowly, we're gonna go on the floor again. This time, crunches. Simple move. Heels down. You're gonna tuck your chin. Fingers to temple. You're gonna crunch. Make sure you do not pull your neck. So always salute instead of grabbing your head on the back and pulling. You never really, like, really rely on 
on your chest because you always then pull and push there we go that's good nice and easy look in between thighs as you tuck your chin eyes gaze up front there we go beautiful four three two one and time okay move and flip on the other side palm shoulder in line we're gonna do the mountain climbers just this time we're gonna do again triples which means you're gonna get out in diagonal then change side out in diagonal out in diagonal there we go you're working your core working your legs all in make sure again you have your palms shoulders in line eyes gaze down palms fully open so try not to these bad boys I know sometimes they look better these look more secure keep going that's good and for last 10 seconds, we're gonna do together simple mountain climbers and go. Run, run, run. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, child pose. Ooh, get that little stretchy stretch over here. Beautiful. You're great. Okay, as you can see, I start sweating for real which means no cheating. Even you at home, you can do it. We can do this together. Grab some weights. I'm picking these little guys because I'm sure you can find those at home. Uh, even if it's just water bottles, they can do a lot. Okay, I'm gonna do single arm press. You need to follow the rhythm. Do your own pace. There we go. Elbows keep them to the front. And press. Exhale each time you push. Yes. I always have a little more extra control when I'm doing single arm than I'm doing doing both. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. As you're already in front, you're gonna open and close squeeze there we go soft the knees beautiful on the side try not to pass your shoulder level as well as don't push too much to the back engage core yes there we go four three two one relax okay team here i'm going to show it on the side because i'm sure you want to see also your lower version for it so we're going to do mountain climber for your as your lower option you can always go just easy but if you want a little more you're going to open those feet slightly wider and then you're going to jump one foot in and back two feet out in and out so squeeze your lower option is simple mountain climber there we go brace your core and get that little jump keep going 10 more seconds four three two one time shake it off especially your belts woohoo okay now open up we're gonna work your inner thighs you're gonna able also to wipe the sweat put the shoulders down your back sumo squat shoulders you can hold your hands here you have better control of your chest 
so you don't fall too much to the front. Readjust, and when you're ready, lift the heel. Here, your rhythm, up to you. You can do slower, you can do a little faster. And switch. If your tennis shoe is slipper, like too much, go slower version. So you don't go out of the alignment. Shoulders down, try not to lift them too much, relax. And go. Woo! Yeah, I'm always up to dance. Keep going, keep going. You got it. And you are awesome. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Pick it up in. Variations. We're gonna bring again, a little more focus on your legs. So you're gonna two, two, narrow, two, two, wide. Get back into narrow, change the leg. Let's go. One, two, down two. One, two, down two. Beautiful. So as you're having that narrow squat, knees together, and push your glutes to the back, so your bow slightly to the front, from this perspective. So you're always pushing your bum to the back. And a little tip I shared last time, lift your toes. That prevents your knees going over. Keep going. Three, two, one, and time. Shake it off, people. Grab some water. Ooh, 10 more minutes left. It's crazy, but with you, time always flies, which is good. Ooh. Okay, so for those who are able to jump, what are you gonna do? Level one, step, go plank burpee, and go back. For those who want a little more, I'm back. Okay, from this side, you're able to step, or if you're jumping, soft the knees, squeeze glutes, get back, run back. Ready, steady, go. Yes, come on people. And again, stop those knees as you're running back. Again, the focus is, even if you're just stepping, you can squat and run back. Or take your time here and slowly go back. Come on, two more. Last one. Woo! Time. Whoa, you're awesome. Okay, on your knees here, shoulder taps. I'm gonna show you from this perspective first. Palm shoulder in line, shoulders away, tap. Level one, you're gonna bring all weights, returning full palm open to the same spot. Level two, if you're doing full plank and shoulder tap. Go, you got it. Ooh, sweaty, sweaty. Keep going. Now, a little challenge. Can we go a little faster? Boom. Up to your pace. You're faster. There we go. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, time. Knees down, good work. Grab one of your weights. You can stay on your knees. Okay, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna again show from the side. I'm gonna keep feet on the floor. Also toes close to each other. Create a little triangle. You're gonna stay on your knees, you're gonna brace core, you're gonna squeeze your glutes. You're gonna go halo, and as you're pushing, Okay, slowly pull back in. You do halo again. Extend, lean back. You feel those quads. You're gonna burn tomorrow. But hey, you'll be good. 
Lots of water, good stretch, you're good to go. So squeeze all you got into quads and the body and the extra weight is just an add-on. It works upper body a little extra. Keep going team. Have two more exercises and you're done. Told you, with you, time flies. There we go. Three, two, one, time. Okay, leave this side. We're gonna do side crunches. So elbow, shoulder in line and bottom knee in line. Lift that hip. So you want to stabilize this position. As you lift your hip, this is your level one. Your extra version is you can lift the top leg. You can extend hand and get crunches here. There we go. Yes. Woo! Keep going, team. Crunch that elbow to the knee. Feel those obliques and don't let your bottom hip drops. Yes. Boom. Three, two, one. Time. Let's switch the side. Same thing. Elbow, shoulder in line, and bottom knee. Lift the hip. Option one for your leg, you can stay there. Extend the hand, and we pull in. Yes. Woo! Almost done, team. There we go. Pull in and out. Four, three, two, one, and time. Stay on your knees, get the child pose. Take a deep breath in. I'm sure you deserve this break. And definitely, you rock. Nice and easy. Slowly come on up. Get some delt stretch over here. I surely had lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed too. My name is Mia and definitely it was the greatest pleasure having this hit class with you. Stay active with Altea Active and I'll see you soon. Take care.